So in this quick session, we are going to discuss the best and the shortest approach of solving this viral question of the algebra. I want, please pause the video and try to solve this question. I hope you have paused the video. At least try to kiya hoga ga solve nahi hua to. Question is what? Sum of all real x for which this expression is equal to 2018. Means we need to find the sum of all real roots. We have a polynomial or the quadratic equation, polynomial or the quadratic equation, polynomial or the quadratic equation. And all the polynomial, all the quadratic equations are same. x square plus 4x plus 5 and the so on. First, let's discuss. If we have ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square plus bx plus c. If you have only two power, the base and the power, then we work power, power, power. You must know x raised to power x is equal to 1, then x equal to 1. I hope it is okay. What happens if x is equal to 2? So x raised to power x becomes 4. What happens when the x is equal to 3? x raised to power x becomes 27. So the graph of x raised to power x would lead to unique value if you have a constant term. What it means lead to unique value? We say if x raised to power x is equal to 10. Okay. So this is in between 4 and 27. So the value of x should be 2 point something. And this 2 point something would be unique value. There is no other value apart from 2 point something which lead x raised to power x equal to 10 because the graph of this equation x raised to power x would look, look like something like this. this is I hope it is clear that we are leading to a unique value. Hope. If I say this expression is equal to 4, then so we can say ax square plus bx plus c equal to 2. I hope it is okay. If this expression is 27, we are going to say ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 3. Done. Now, what happens if we have ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square plus bx plus c. Now, check. For the x raised to power x raised to power x. When we have x equal to 1, x raised to power x raised to power x becomes 1. When the, we have x raised to power x equal to 2, x raised to power x raised to power x becomes 2 raised to power, 2 raised to power 2 becomes 16. How comes? Because you have 2 raised to power 2, raised to power 2. First, we need to solve 2 raised to power 2, which leads to 2 raised to power 4, which becomes 16. What happens when the x equal to 3? So the x raised to power 3, x raised to power x equal to 3 raised to power 3 raised to power 3 and the 3 raised to power 27. And the value of 3 raised to power 27 should be 1900, 19,000 something. There should be a some value. I hope you have clear hai. If I say x raised to power x raised to power x is 100, then this value is 100. Since this is 16, this value for the 2, this is 16. For the 3, this is a quite large value, 19,000 something. We say the value of x should be 2 point something. And this value is a constant value, is a single value. There is no other x in the real x which satisfies x raised to power x raised to power x equal to 100. So we have a single value. If I say this value is equal to 2018, so we can say ax square plus bx plus c is equal to something, 2 point something. I hope it is okay. Now, again, if I say ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square plus bx plus c and so on is say 500. Okay. So, we have what? Say 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Say the 6 value. If we say this expression is equal to k, this expression is k. So this k would be something 1 point something. So the k would be a constant. So we can say ax square plus bx plus c is equal to one constant value k. There should be one unique value. I hope it is okay. Now come to our main concept. If we have ax square 
plus bx plus c is some constant k, a value unique, 2 point something, 3 point something. We can say ax square plus bx plus c minus k is equal to 0. Now we need to find what is the value of the sum of roots. Sum of roots of the quadratic equation is actually equal to mean, minus b by a. Answer of this question is minus b by a. This is quite easy. So I give you a detailed concept. But if you have expression like this, ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square plus bx plus c raised to power ax square b plus c equal to some value. So this expression would lead to one unique value for which this expression would satisfy 500. So from here we can say ax square plus bx plus c minus k would lead to 0. Sum of roots of quadratic equation is always b minus b by a and this is our answer. Now come to our question ax square plus bx plus c it lead to 2 point something. From here we can say ax square plus bx plus c minus some value is equal to 0. So summation of roots is minus b by a. Now come to our question. This is our question. Irrespective of 2 power or 3 power or the 4 power or the 5 power we know x square plus 4x plus 5 would lead to 2 point something or any value irrespective of 2 point something say that 2 point something is k from here x square plus 4x plus 5 minus k equal to 0 sum of roots of a quadrication is minus b by a here it's minus 4 upon a is 1 answer this question is minus 4 or we can say we just need to work on the sum of roots of what x square plus 4x plus some value plus some value so which is always minus b by a is equal to minus 4 is actually a 5 to 10 second ka question so if i give you a question for your homework you can solve within seconds what is the question 3x cube minus 2x square plus 6x plus 5 raised to power 3x cube minus 2x square plus 6x plus 5 raised to power some value and we need to say this one is 100 some value means this is again 3x cube minus 2x square plus 6x plus 5. Now the question is sum of all roots of our equation is what? Sum of all roots of our equation is what? So you can solve this question within second. How comes? polynomial raised to power of polynomial same polynomial raised to power some polynomial if equal to 100 then this expression would lead to a constant and the summation of roots is always minus b by a of the given polynomial so the answer of this question is i want please post in the comment or if you have any doubt discuss okay so i think i give my 110 percent to let you know this one is quite an easy question irrespective of the power 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 the multiple power summation is always minus b by a the product could be different because it has c by a and we don't know what the c value constant value the total outcome is what answer is minus b by a and the minus 4 is our answer so if you have any doubt feel free to ping me on my social networking site either facebook telegram or i would like if you like the video please like and the comment and if you want anything more please post as a comment or join the thread on the Facebook and Telegram. All the links of the Facebook and Telegrams given in the description. You give your best, I am giving my best and we try to create the history in the era of examination. God bless you. Happy learning and bye-bye.